One of the bands that you started to work with when you left the commune was the, the Fall. You worked on, I think, three albums for That's right. Beggar's Banquet. And I'm going to read a piece which I just think is so funny, and it's from, it's from, uh, it's, it's written by Steve Hanley, who he, he was in the fall for over 20 years. Is his book, The Big Midweek, and it's very much his story. And I have to say, there's all I know. There's always two sides to every story. I'm not <laughs> saying everything in this book is 100% the total truth, but the bit about John is very funny. So he accounts this is when um, Marquis e. Smith was married to Bricks. And this is just a little bit of uh, a one paragraph. Bricks tells us all there is to know about him, John Leckie. John's work with magazines, she exclaimed. So spirited, you guys. He's just come back from his... So, so spiritual, you guys. He's just come back from his spiritual health club. He's worked with XTC. He's a Bagwan. A what? There's a commune in the States, she explains. He's worked with Simple Minds. He's so laid back, he meditates. Wait and see. It's going to be so good for Mark. Good luck with that. I can just imagine Mark doing yoga up a banyan tree in preparation for a recording session. With his bushy hair, bushy eyebrows, wide nose and bright eyes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. John Leckie descends the staircase from the control room like Joseph in a Technicolor dream coat. That runs, in, that runs in the wash. Sitar music follows him into the studio, sounding like he's, be, he's being played back, back to front. He opens his arms in greeting, palms to the ceiling, and smiles. It's like the sun's constantly rising behind him, filling the room with an inexplicable feeling of well-being, godspell and scapulated. <laughs> So that was her description, or sort of Steve's description, <laughs> yeah. including some quotes from Bricks, about how the band were first introduced to you. Mm -hmm. So 